What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here, and I am back with another Soprano log. Today we are looking at the 8th episode of the 5th season, Marco Polo. Now, the episode opens uh, with Hugh fixing Carmela's roof uh, when he falls off the roof and lands in some hedges. Uh, luckily, he's okay, he's not injured. And they discuss his 75th birthday, which is coming up. Uh, Carmela wants to throw a big party for him at the house, but Carmela decides that she doesn't want to invite Tony. Now that they're separated, she wants them to have separate lives and not make it awkward for the guests, so she decides to ask him not to come. Tony pretends like uh, he didn't want to go, even though he completely admitted that he forgot the party was even there, so how could he decide he didn't want to go? We even see him lying later to Tony B about deciding not to go as well. So he's basically just trying to save face here and not admit to himself even that Carmelo is, you know, pushing him away from the party and not letting him come. He wants to keep his pride. Uh, meanwhile, little Carmine has moved to New York and is making moves to secure the loyalty of the Capos to ensure that he becomes the boss. Johnny Saka retaliates by having his boat sunk um, in, in front of their house. And in retaliation of this, uh, Rusty and Angelo offer Tony B. money uh, to have him kill Joey Peeps. Now, Joey Peeps is one of Johnny's favorite uh, soldiers. He's very fond of the kid. But Tony B. declines because uh, his cousin wants them to stay out of the war. He doesn't want to get dragged into all the fighting. So he turns down the job for now. Meanwhile, Tony goes to see Johnny Sack. Uh, he shows Tony his new Maserati. And there's this great bit where Tony asks how Ginny Sack likes the car. And John's forced to say that, you know, Ginny can't get into the car because of her knees. When in reality, it's because of her weight. And you can see on Tony's face the subtle smile. He knew very much what he was doing um, and was intentionally... Uh, saying something to draw attention to Ginny's weight while still being subtle about it. A really funny detail there. But while they're talking about cars, Johnny Sack tells him that he wants him to pay for the damages to Phil's car. Uh, last episode, Phil crashed into a truck while Tony was chasing him. And Johnny Sack asked Tony to pay as payback for Johnny siding with him during the sit-down. Tony agrees only if the repairs are done in Pussy's old body shop. And she is running the place now. Uh, Tony gave her that job because she wanted to, you know, earn a living. And Tony makes her handle everything um, and handle any problems that come up with the car. They end up completing the repairs, uh, but Phil continues to find issues with the car. Even once the car is perfectly fixed, he keeps finding issues and basically forces them to make the car even nicer than it was originally. Junior learns about the surprise party uh, from Bobby, and he calls Hugh and basically spoils the whole thing for him. Hugh talks to, uh, you know, Carmela and his wife about it, and he learns that Tony is not coming. Now, Hugh is very fond of Tony, um, even though he and Carmela are separated, and he refuses to attend uh, if Tony's not going to be there. Carmela reluctantly asks Tony to go so that her father will go. And he kind of pretends like he had plans, uh, even though we don't see him making any plans during that time. Um, but again, it's it's a pride thing. He's just trying to act again like he wasn't even going. Um, but he ultimately agrees to come. Now, one of the guests at the party is Russ Fagoli. He's an old Navy friend of Hugh's. Now, Fagoli is a cultured Italian, as Carmela's mother says. He's Northern Italian, he's a diplomat, he went to Princeton, and he's much higher class compared to all the Southern Sicilian mobsters that their family associates with. Uh, when Tony arrives, Hugh's very happy to see him there, um, but the mother is really embarrassed by his behavior. Now, there's a theory that Russ might be Paulie's father. Now, spoiler warning, some people get mad at me when I talk about things that are going to happen in future episodes I haven't covered yet. Um, but in season six, Paulie learns that the man he thought was his father is not his father, and his mother is not his mother. His actual mother was a nun, and the nun tells him that his real father was a GI named Russ. Now, this is the only other Russ we meet in the show. He is a GI, and we learn in this episode that he had prostate cancer at one point, uh, which Paulie has as well in the sixth season. 
So there's a lot of connections between the two. But either way, for the birthday party, Tony buys Hugh a Beretta um, as a gift. And Russ ends up um, insulting Tony's gift. He says that um, they never ship uh, the best guns to the States. Um, so he's inadvertently calling the gun, you know, not the best. And it's really rude to Tony. You know, after the party, Carmela confronts her mother um, about being ashamed of Tony and their Italian heritage and trying to impress their high class friends. Um, it gets into a big fight with her and ends up defending Tony. After the party, Tony and AJ throw Carmela into the pool. Um, the whole family's in there and end up playing a game of Marco Polo. Uh, eventually, all everyone leaves and it's just Tony and Carmela in the pool. They end up kissing and eventually gets pretty hot and starts leading to sex. But Tony leaves the next morning before she wakes up. So we'll see where that goes next episode. It's the first time they've really had affection for each other since the separation. Uh, meanwhile, Tony B finds out that his sons stole some items from AJ. It was pins from the uh, Olympics. His sons say that they hate their poor life and they want the rich life that Tony's family has. So Tony B is, you know, feeling the pressure to, you know, be more of an earner and provide for his family. He's also jealous when he sees uh, Tony with Meadow because they have such a great relationship and his own daughter is missing. So he's seeing all the benefits that Tony got while he was stuck in prison and he lost everything. So all of this pushes Tony B to accept Rusty's job. And at the end of the episode, he finds Joey Peeps and shoots him, taking him out for Rusty and his crew. But he gets his foot run over by the car, so he's limping. And he, this is going to be a big problem later in this season. But we'll see where that goes next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next Soprano Log coming soon. Thanks to all my patrons, whenever I fall off the roof, I no longer have to worry about the hospital bill. Hunter, Tommy Smith, Abdallah Alamari, George Jones, Russell, Sean, Graham, Rooftop, Rico Bellic, Heart of Markness, Broccoli, Isaiah, Placenta Juan, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Lance Klump, Jesse Sterling, and Andrew Stewart.